Good evening. We're on now day 29 of 31 days of prayer. Our spirit today is restoration. Our scripture comes from Isaiah 61, 1 and 2. And our lesson is a ministry of healing. 61 and 2, 61, 1 and 2, the New International Version, the year of the Lord's favor. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn. Our lesson, the daily verse, well, daily verse, knowingjesus.com. And it says, this glorious prophecy of Christ's messianic appointment openly displays a try on Godhead as the Holy Spirit of Israel's Lord, God Almighty, rests upon me. And in the Gospels, we see a beautiful fulfillment of this verse where the Lord Jesus Christ, as Israel's appointed Messiah King, went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day, as was his custom, and he stood up. Unrolled the scroll of the prophet Isaiah and found the place where it was written. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Excuse me. Jesus was the visible representation of the invisible God. And he only said and did those things that he heard from his father in heaven. And so Christ was uniquely qualified to apply this glorious prophecy to himself. For he had indeed been anointed of God to bring good news to the afflicted to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to those that were captive to sin and freedom to those that were enslaved by Satan. The mystery of God is bound up in the truth of the Trinity so that the words of the Father can be spoken by the Son, who is the incarnate word of God. For the inspired scriptures are the unique supernatural work of the Holy Spirit. And the world became flesh and dwelt among us, and those that were present beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten from the Father, full of grace and truth. My Lord Jesus was identified by the Father as my beloved Son, and he was anointed by the Holy Spirit, filled with the Holy Spirit, and walked in spirit and truth. Jesus lived his entire life in complete and utter dependence upon God, content to lay aside his etern content to lay aside his eternal glory and pray in humble obedience that will not that will not mine be done the mystery of god is indeed bound up in the truth of the trinity for god almighty broke into time and space in the history of mankind and he visited his own creation for 33 years in the unique person of the lord jesus christ Fully God, yet fully man, he came as the Christ of God, the Messiah of Israel, the anointed and beloved Son of the Father and God's appointed Savior of the world. Christ was indeed uniquely qualified to proclaim, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. To bring good news to the afflicted, he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to captives and freedom to prisoners. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, my understanding is so limited of all you are and the untold mysteries that surround the triune Godhead and the incarnate word of God. And yet you love me so much that you, that you came in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ to die for our sins so that we might receive the good tidings of great joy which have been given to for people so that by grace through faith in him, we have been forgiven of our sins. Thank you for binding up our broken and bleeding hearts. Thank you that in Christ we have been set free from the bondage to sin, the curse of the law, and enslaved by Satan. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.